Adobe has hit us once again with another big update. And of course, your boy has been a little bit late to the party as always, but don't worry, I'm still bringing supplies. And of course, that is the Photoshop CC 2022 update. In this update, they have added some crazy new AI features and improvements to Photoshop. Starting off with the very first one is the one that I find really cool and it's my personal favorite. So if you go into the neural filters, as you would, you would find out that there is now something called a landscape mixer. It will use AI to automatically generate and allow you to pretty much change the whole season and customize it to something else. So as you can see, we can just simply increase the winter and this will process it and make your image look like as if it's in the winter time. And you have multiple other templates. For example, you have the mountains one like this one. So basically what this filter does is it gives you the options to play about with the spring, summer, autumn and winter. And no matter what you set it to, it will automatically generate it on the current picture that you have it to. Next to the landscape mixer, you will also find out there is a harmonization filter. So before you can actually use the filter, you want to first of all, click on the cloud icon to download the filter. So as you can see right here, I have an air balloon and I'm going to tell it that the background is that specific image and it will match it with the colors to make it look like it's actually there. Underneath the image, you will also have the options to change the strength. You can also mix and match the channels. And of course, you can also change the brightness of the image. And then finally, we have the color transfer. This one is really interesting because it allows you to copy a specific color palette from one image and apply it onto yours. It'll give you the options to play about with the presets. And if you find one that you really like, you can apply those same colors onto yours. So as you can see, you can change it to a nice yellow color, a purple, and then overall any type of image that you want to copy those colors onto yours. Underneath the presets, you'll have the options for the color space. So you can do things like preserve luminance. You can also change the color space and change it to RGB instead of lab. This will give you the saturation, hue, and brightness. So you can pretty much play about with the sliders, depending on what you're looking for. You can give yourself a nice green color and basically just match it with your image. The next big feature is an improvement to the object selection tool. So if you now click in here, you'll notice there is some more options at the top. And now if you hover over a person or object, it will automatically highlight it and give you a preview of what it would look like. So all you have to do is simply left click, get yourself a selection, go to the select and mask, do the select and mask refinements, go down to the output tool, set it to a new layer, and then go ahead and pretty much press OK. And as you can see, it is now so much easier to remove a background. You can just do it in a few clicks. Have you got yourself a lot of people or objects in your image? Well, you can now right click on your layer and go to mask all objects and with a magical button, Bada bing, bada boom, you have now selected all your objects and people in your image. So it's literally a two click selection. <laughs> but on a serious note, it will mask out the objects or person and then it will create a group neatly organizing it. So if you apply any adjustments, it will only apply to that specific group. Moving on to the next improvement, if you have a look in the gradients, you will now notice in the method, there is two more modes. There is linear and perspectual. So linear is designed to make the colors blend more nicely and give it more of a natural look. And the perspectual one is designed to basically give us a more of a realistic look on what a gradient would look like to the human eye. Now this next one is an all time favorite and that is of course if you go to filter, go down to stylize and get yourself the classic oil paint filter. So many of us know this from previous versions of Photoshop, but if you've never heard of this before or use this feature, it basically allows you to get these really nice oil paint stroke effect. Before it used to use OpenCL to do all the processing, which means it relied on your processor. 
but now they've improved it so it uses your graphics card rather than your processor which means it's going to be a lot more efficient and a lot more quicker when it comes to having that extra GPU power to go towards the oil paint filter. This next one is an interesting concept and for anyone who works in teams or on a big project it's going to be a game changer. So with this new feature what you can do is you can turn on comments for that specific document. What you need to do first of all is save it to the cloud and once you've got it saved to the cloud you'll have the option to share this with anyone that you want. In the settings you can share it with public or private and you also have the options to set it to comments only or save a copy of the document. Now I will admit I'm not much of a cloud person myself but this is a pretty neat feature because if you're working in a team or working on a big project with multiple people involved you can start to add comments and give yourself live feedback on that specific document. And then finally we have the very last feature. What you can do now is you can highlight your project. You then want to press Ctrl and C to copy it. Go into Photoshop and press Ctrl and V. You can then paste this in as layers, smart object, pixels, path or shape layer. So if you paste it in as layers, this will then paste it into Photoshop, giving you all those layers that you've been working on in Illustrator, all in one group giving you that flexibility to work in between both. And that is pretty much it. That is the main new features and improvements to Photoshop 2022. Let me know what you think of this update. Do you like it? What would you like to see in the future? And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.